I want to congratulate Dave for having provided us with an incredible memoir. Uh, we've had a chance at uh, lunch hour to look through it briefly, his, his book, the library book, and uh, he is to be commended for having written an absolutely brilliant piece. Thank you, Dave. I've had the occasion in the past to, to speak to librarians and to trustees. And uh, uh, as I was thinking about uh, when might have been the first time, it was at the invitation of Miss uh, Enid Deering, who was the chief librarian at the North Vancouver District Library. And uh, the topic uh, was the Bainstein Report, uh, our Bible of the day. It was 1966. It was a marvelous and wonderful time. Truly, there was an, an electric feeling among those in the library fraternity the, and trustees that we had, we had been given a challenge by Rose Bainstein that if we could succeed, that we could have library service in every community in British Columbia. I mean, who couldn't attach himself or herself to that challenge? We certainly did on the commission. And in 1970, uh, I was a member of the Library Development Commission, and we, we had an incredible group of people, 10, nine librarians and one trustee who came together in a committee. So what happened after that? Well, with this proposal that these 10 people developed for the commission, we decided we should go on the road. And we, uh, we instituted a, five, um, a series of five conferences throughout the province. And we started in Kamloops, and we had um, the Honorable Flying Phil Gillardi as the the first person to represent the government at one of our conferences. And he showed up, you know, in Wild Bill Hickok's hand-me-downs. You know, and he had his 10-gallon hat. I don't know if you were there at the time. It was marvelous. And at the end, he said, and keep those bookmobiles rolling. You know, and everybody did nuts because he was that kind of a guy. <laughs> We came back to the lower mainland of Vancouver, and we had the, the big one in uh, Burnaby. And of course, uh, then we, uh, we, we took it to Nelson, and we took it to uh, uh, Cranbrook. We would speak anywhere they allowed us in, so that we could uh, uh, talk about cooperation among libraries, so that one day we envisaged not 10, but 11, systems across the province with each district, each person having access to library service. So, of course, we were enthusiastic and we did uh, achieve support from the government, from uh, the librarians, from the trustees, and from the general public. And as a result, we were able to provide a breakthrough event in 1974, I think, when the uh, Thompson Nicola Regional Library or system uh, was introduced. So my role uh, was uh, minimal. I was there in support of the librarians who had paved the way, but I uh, got caught up in it. I just thought it was absolutely marvelous. And I said to Judy, my wife, just the other day, I said, you know, you were my inspiration. She's a voracious reader and sometimes goes through 50 books a year. Um, and uh, in the 1960s, she said, I don't often feel comfortable in the library because the books I'm looking for often just aren't there, you know? And so she's was buying books. And I thought, God, if I could get involved in providing improved library service, I could save a hell of a lot of money <laughs> on these books that she was buying. So we did continue, and, and, and I'd like to acknowledge the role of government. I'm not a politician, uh, but I think that it's fair to say that without the cooperation of the provincial government, we would not have had the funds 
that allowed us uh, to do things that uh, were spectacular, truly, you know. Now, unfortunately, our ambition to have 11 systems came to an abrupt end in 1978 uh, when the government felt that this is, uh, uh, they had a better plan uh, and they did away with the Library Development Commission and its members. Uh, but that didn't mean that the public lost what we had already achieved. We had made great strides. Um, I, I, I stuck around for a few more years. My friends in Burnaby allowed me back on the board uh, for another six years, and that was marvelous. So I'm going to end by just uh, thanking you for listening. Uh, Dave, again, uh, you're just a marvelous uh, writer and uh, a hell of a speaker. Can you say that in this? Uh, 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 and uh, and uh, I congratulate the... Uh, uh, the British Columbia Library Association on its 100th uh, anniversary, and uh, to my fellow, well, I'm an ex-trustee, but uh, to all the, the trustees, you do, you do an absolutely vital uh, service to libraries, and I congratulate you on where you are today in terms of your organization. Thank you very much.